hello friends this is Vilas Patil here welcome to my tutorials of hybrid automation technology today we are going to learn how to uh, develop a program for a dual starter and simulate the same for that you have to uh, you have to you must install these three softwares RS Links Classic, RS Logix 500 and RS Logix Emulate 500 ok open these three softwares ok now three windows are open so configure drivers click on the in rs links classic gateway click on the configure drivers already here one driver is there i will delete this driver first off and delete this driver i have i will create one or uh, add a new driver here slc 500 emulator driver and click on add on you can keep this name as it is or you can name it to anything and uh, station number here i am keeping it 00 only and close this minimize this window next step is develop a program in rs logics 500 ok in this software click on the new file in this wizard you have to select a appropriate uh, plc hardware I, here i will select a micrologics 1000 plc and click on ok ok uh, in dual starter there will be a two push buttons one is for starting the motor and one is for stopping the motor for that purpose i will take i am taking here one normally open one normally close contact and one coil is for output output okay that can be our motor coil okay uh, to specify the input you, you need to just press i and press keep pressing enter okay it will take the address automatically in description you can uh, put the description what what it is okay here it is a start push button i am taking it as a start pv and next input can be our i colon 0 by 1 and this is our stop push button okay now this is our motor for output press O and press enter ok edit description motor ok now we have to verify the file when verify the project here and after that we have to save the file ok here I will name it as a DOL and save this ok now what we have to do is open the rs logic simulator and open the saved file here this is the dual file which i have saved right now and i am opening this and here we you have to uh, put the next station number that is 01 this is our uh, virtual plc number ok minimize this now go to tools options system communications here we have to uh, select the driver which in uh, which we have created here emulator 500 and click on who active this is our 00 station number and 01 01 is your virtual plc click on ok apply yes ok now go to online and click on run ok now these runs are, uh, rails become green it indicates that the program is in running condition when i trigger this input or force on this start button the output is on output is high when i release this force or when i release this uh, input the output is going to be low this should not happen in dual starter when you press the start button and release the output will remain in on state or motor will remain in on state for that purpose we have to take one latch ok go to offline here i will take one parallel run branch and place this 
start button inside the run branch and one more normally open contact here I am taking across or parallel to the start push button and this normally open contacts address should be same as motor or output coil because when I press the start button the coil is energized motor, is, motor coil is energized and uh, this normally open contact is become will become closed so it will provide the parallel path to flow the signal from left side to right side and keep the coil in active condition or true condition okay when we release this will remain in on state to break this path we are taking one normally closed contact when we trigger this contact this normally closed contact will become open and the path will be broken okay again we have to verify the project and verify the file and save this okay again open the RS, RS logic simulator click on hard close and again open the same file here ok this is the updated one ok now minimize this again go to online and click on run ok now when we trigger this input and release the output will remain in on state ok this condition is called latching condition this program can be used to start stop operation in industries or starting or stopping the conveyor ok uh, thank you friends thank you for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel and keep watching my videos thank you